Bro. <laughs> I was trying to do it at the same time as the song when the downbeat happened, and I don't know if that really happened. Hi. Hello. Welcome back for episode two of the podcast. I am still figuring out a name. This is like how new this is. That is exactly how new this is. I don't have a name quite yet, but today's topic is happiness one-on-one -on -one with JD Rocks by JD Rocks. Um, everything that I am reading off, if you didn't already know, is they're just sentences that I got off the internet and I'm using them as a reference. Um, you just look them up on Google. It, it says it anywhere. So um, just making sure I put those references out there. That way nobody thinks that this is all my doing and saying, you know, it, it's not. So, well, it is, but it's also not. I have references. So, I am fucking a little high. I'm a little bit. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. So, we're talking about happiness. And when you just think about happiness, what do you think of? Maybe you think of a, a partner or a lover or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband or a wife maybe you think of a mom or a dad maybe a child uh you know maybe a job maybe a career you know where where are you happy like, that's just such a broad statement. So when you're just thinking about it off the top of your head, you kind of, at least for me, I don't really know what that means. Like, I have experienced happiness. I have. Which I'm grateful to be able to say that confidently. Um, <laughs> I promise. I have experienced happiness. But when it comes to explaining it, it's hard to explain. You need a who, what, where, when, why, and that's what we're here to give you today. We're here to give you a, a who, what, where, when, why. We have our live audience. Hi, Sweaty. I'm the happiest when I'm drawing. An activity. An activity. Exactly. That's a great point to bring. That's a great point to bring up. It, fucking an activity just something you do and you and there is some way within yourself um of a judging spectrum of some sort in every person in some way shape or form there everybody has a judging spectrum and for sweaty he knows that that's when he's the happiest how do you know, like, you know you're happy when you do this. You know you're happy when you do that. How do you know that you're definitely happier? Like, how do you judge it? What is the scale? What is the, you know, it's, it's just a very interesting topic to think about. Where does that even come from? It's just all of it in general. Happiness is this amazing feeling that a lot of us get uh, when we feel good or fulfillment or satisfied in some way shape or form um absolutely amazing absolutely amazing anything is possible so let's get right into it don't you say so we are going to get into the what is happiness what is it an emotional state characterized by feelings of joy satisfaction contentment and fulfillment so those are a lot of different synonyms i mean i would call them cinnamon Cin synonyms i would call them synonyms um synonyms of just feelings of joy of contentment yeah exactly so if you break that down even more you just feel good you feel really good a definition of good whether that be you push somebody down on the ground and that made you feel satisfaction of some sort or fulfillment. It's the same thing. 
you felt some sort of happiness when you pushed a child down. It's the same thing as when Sweaty is drawing on Twitch, when he's drawing on Twitch, and he feels, a, there's, at that point, they are doing completely different actions, but yet they feel the same feeling at the end of the day, in a sense here. And it's very interesting to think about that happiness can mean a lot of things. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's just everything. There's so many types of happiness. Taxidermy. Taxidermy. Oh, my God. Some people find some real happiness and fulfillment when they're, like, into taxidermy. Which is wild. <laughs> yes. Pushing children. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like, some people do. Not me. But, yeah. So, we get the idea. It, it gives you a sense of satisfaction and joy, etc., etc. So, it's an emotional state. Some people cry when they're happy. Some people don't do anything when they're happy. Some people, when they're happy, they put other people down there's i mean there i'm giving a couple examples but this is the reality this is the reality that we live in happiness can be caused by anything it really just depends on you right it just depends on you it depends on your personality who you are your about your character things like that is really going to define what makes you happy? So, now that we have figured out a good ground, what, that is what we're going to focus on. I want you to focus with me on what makes you happy at the end of the day. And what gives you that satisfied and joyful feeling. So, as we keep moving on here, we are going to get into who. Who provides happiness? Or what provides happiness uh, with who? You know what I mean? Like, what is going on with that? There are three main things that make people happy. <laughs> there are three main things that make people happy. Close relationships, a job or pastime that they love, and helping others. There are four, three main categories. They put those together. Why would they put those together? Clo close relationships... A job or pastime that they love and helping others. Okay, I can see why that's the same. Yeah. So close relationships. Let's just start there. Let's just start there. Close relationships could be your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kids, your family, your whatever, your your oopa, your bapa, your I don't know what you call anything or what anybody calls it really anything, but um those close relationships are fully capable of providing happiness. Um, but if you don't know about relationships in general, I would watch my last podcast about friendships. Um, you, I did mention being at a level, a level where you're able to make relationships. There are people out there that are not ready. Like, for example, if there's a grown man, if you're a grown man, okay, and you don't want to be in a relationship, don't be in a relationship. There are so many guys that don't want to be in a relationship, but they fucking hurt girls left and right and don't give a shit about the consequences. And, like, and so they really fucking hurt people. You know what I mean? How many times, and it goes into the same thing, how many times does it take to, like, be hurt to start thinking about killing yourself type not many and it's just fucking crazy and if people were capable of understanding themselves and understanding what truly makes them happy um you know a lot of this could be avoided so this is definitely my way of putting out my opinion about it and um close relationships are definitely one of them and knowing what makes you happy is so important but from every situation that happens somebody learns from it somehow some way some shape and that's amazing so close relationships 
can provide happiness. They can provide a definite sense of joy, satisfaction, commitment, and fulfillment. I've been feeling that exactly with Shruki, with Shruki's stream. His, his stream, I'm there every time. Every time he streams, I'm there. I, and I try my best to be the first person. And I'm not always, but I get the joy feeling. I get a satisfaction. I feel like I have friends that give a shit, that give a shit. And I definitely feel content. I feel comfortable being myself and fulfilled. Oh my God. I feel like I've helped Shrieky a lot. Of course I feel fulfilled. I feel like everything that I've put into his stream, has, I have got more back and then some. You know what I mean? It provides such a great deal of happiness to be able to support him, his community, um, just the love around there. And I absolutely love them as people. Um, so the next topic of like who can provide happiness or what can provide happiness in this sense, um, a job or a pastime that they love. For this example, Sweaty was talking about, Sweaty was talking about drawing. That's a fucking great example. Some people love to draw. My brothers love to draw. Um, and if you get real damn good at something, you can turn it into something at the end of the day. Um, and it, it won't, it doesn't have to be just a pastime, which is even cooler, which is even fucking cooler. Um, but yeah, they provide such a sense of all of those things. Maybe you're going through a lot and you just need to de-stress. You need to get some fucking stress out. You know what I mean? And you don't know how. And but you but all you do know is that you love doing this pastime of making necklaces, for example. And you started making a business from it. And now you live off of this. You know what I mean? That provides such a great fulfillment. And of course that makes you comfortable because you grew it from yourself, from the ground up. A sense of joy, satisfaction. I bet you feel so satisfied when you are completing goal after goal after goal. This is what provides happiness. This is really the core of happiness. Of just not letting yourself down at the end of the day. You're going to let people down every day. You never know. It happens. But you're also not going to let people down every day. And it's better to choose to look at the happiness, the good things, the things that provide you with happiness than to look at anything negative, no matter what it is, just because happiness provides you with so many great things. And we will get into the benefits even deeper coming up here when we get there. I'm gonna drink some water. I don't know if y'all can hear it in my throat. <laughs> But, um, uh, but, uh, all right. So we've been talking about happiness and we've been talking about what is happiness. It's an emotional state that provides a plethora of feelings who provides happiness. We've talked about some close relationships that in your life of, you know, of all different kinds, job, a pastime. And then we're also going to talk about helping others being there for other people, knowing that you made somebody's life different in a good way, in a good way. You helped somebody become a better person in some way, shape, or form, whether it be big, whether it be small, you helped somebody. And that's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful feeling. It's, a, I, it's obviously my favorite. If you couldn't tell, it's my favorite of where I can get happiness. I love helping people in any type of way that I can. You know what I mean? Um, there are hurdles, of course. I, I'm scared of people, to be honest with you. I've been fucked over a lot <laughs> in my life. Uh, so that, like, you know, that kind of sucks. So I don't really like going in public too much. But um, I also, I've been completing goal after goal after goal. I, I fucking crashed my car. I didn't drive for six months and I didn't know if I was going to keep driving or if I was going to just not give up or whatever. But I bought a car recently. I bought a fucking car. Woo! And I'm getting back into driving. I've been driving almost every day. And I'm so fucking proud of myself. Oh my god. 
Like, that's amazing that I hit that goal. You know what I mean? And you, it's just doing these things and progressing in life where wherever you want to go, wherever that is, is important. It is, it's very important to feel these these feelings of happiness, the this emotional state, to be in this emotional state. There are people that aren't capable of being in this state. There, there are people, no matter how hard they try, they can't be happy with whatever. They're never satisfied. They can't accept whatever the case may be. And they end up ruining, ruining themselves. And they end up ruining themselves to be able to help anybody else. It's sad. It's sad to watch, you know? When you know that there are people out there capable of so many things. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, what people can do. Loving this. Thank you. I appreciate it. Fuck yeah, Sweaty. Sweaty's in our live audience over here, guys. Fuck yeah. Thank you guys for all tuning in. I appreciate it. We are vibing right along. We just got done going over who can provide happiness. Close relationships, a job, a pastime, helping others. Fucking amazing stuff here that we got going, guys. Up next, we're going to talk about where. Where do you find happiness? Okay, JD. Okay, JD. I heard the what. I heard the who. It's pretty fucking compelling. Oh, I'm ready to sign up, JD. Now, where do I go? What do I do? What's the where? Where do where do I what where do I step? What's the first step? And we are going to talk about genetic makeup, life circumstances, achievements, marital status, social relationships, even your neighbors all influence how happy you are or can be. So do individual individual ways of thinking and expressing feelings research shows that much of happiness is under personal control where can you find happiness little jimmy where do you want to go it's been with you the whole fucking time isn't that crazy people are running away from something that's right there it's been with you the whole time, Jimmy. Just look, open your eyes, choose to not be blind and choose to look at the positive things that are happening in your life. No matter how little, no matter how much, choose to look at it no matter what. If you are homeless and you have a fucking dirty sweater as a blanket, how much you wanna bet that he is grateful for that fucking dirty jacket because he has a blanket to keep him warm on a very cold night per se. You know what I mean? There, what I'm saying no matter the scale, I don't care your situation. No one gives a shit about your situation. And at the end of the day, nobody really cares what you've gone through. What people care about is what you do after. What you do when you get the fuck up from the ashes. What are you gonna do next? How are you going to become a better person? How are you going to help others? How are you going to become better for your close relationships? How are you going to get better at your job or your pastime or helping other people, your family, your friends, your spouse? How are you going to take this shitty situation that shouldn't have happened to anybody and become better from it? And I'm going to tell you, become a better person you do better learn from your situations genetic makeup learn about yourself learn about your triggers learn about what bothers you you need to know you better than anybody on the face of this planet you need to know you like a goddamn textbook you gotta fucking know it in and out. And once you get to that point, your genetic, gen, genetic makeup, your life circumstances, all of your achievements, marital status, and even your social relationships, and even your fucking neighbors, if you have a house, if you have bought a house, even your neighbors, this can provide you with such a great level of help of people who give a shit People that are willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to help you achieve your goals. 
Now that's fucking worth fighting for. I don't know about you. But that's fucking worth fighting for. And it is a beautiful thing that it's all, it's been inside you the entire time. It's been inside you the whole time. You just need to get to know yourself. You are that light. You are your own God, per se. You, whatever you want to decide to look at, just know that you are capable of it. And whatever you put your mind to, if you want it bad enough, you got it. You got it in the bag and if you don't get it then that just means you didn't want it bad enough so are you going to keep chasing it or are you going to find something else is it time to move on from what's been holding me back for years you know what i mean or is it time to kick it into fucking high gear and bring what i got to the table and do my best and give it all i got which is it Either option is great. Either option you can learn from. Either option you can become better from. And where can you find it? You are amazing. You are awesome. And you can provide yourself with your own happiness created by you. Think of it as your own your own self-made happiness. I don't want to experience anybody else's happiness other than mine. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? And everybody's happiness is different. Do you get what I'm saying? So, we've been talking about the what, the who, the where. Where can you find it? So, when do you know it's time? When do you know it's fucking time? When are you like, okay... It's time for me to take that step. It's time for me to take that step. How do I know that? <laughs> That's the question. You go out, move a lot, spend less than you earn. Don't take yourself too seriously. Look for reasons for things to work out. Contribute rather than consume. Don't resent people for doing better than you. Say hello first. And be reliable. We are going to go over this list really quickly. But when you can narrow down all of these, all of these talents, I will say these talents, you are, you'll, you are definitely ready for friendship. And you are ready for happiness. And you are on your way to find an even step closer to your happiness and what that means. And the first one we got here is you go out. You don't stay inside the house all day. You get the fuck out. You do things. You look at nature. You, you look at the thing. You know what I mean? Like you fucking enjoy what mother nature has to offer. That's one way of finding a beautiful type of happiness. It is a special type of happiness to just go out and do things, be spontaneous, you know what I mean? Have the balls, have the cojones to try something new. You know, it, it has all of those things. It provides such a happiness. It, it lets you know and teaches you that you're capable of a lot more than you realize, you know? Up next, it says, move a lot. Don't stay in one place. Don't sleep all the time. Get the fuck up. Do a workout. Dance a little bit. Do whatever the fuck. Go make food. You know, go, go fucking have a good time. Go take a ride in your car. I don't know. I'm naming examples. But just move. Move. Move your arms. Move your head. Stretch. Staying healthy is a big deal about happiness. It does help. You got to move. Up next, spend less than you earn. It, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't make a lot, you shouldn't be spending a lot. You have to understand responsibility and understand your priorities and understand what comes first and what comes last and when and be very strategic about what you want to do when. If you want to work with somebody in the future, you need to really think about that. You know, are you ready for something like that? And if the answer is no, then don't. That's okay. That's all right. But you do need to save, 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 and never, never spend less than you earn. 
No, wait, spend, yeah, I mean, spend less than you earn, sorry. Next, don't take yourself too seriously. Oh my God, this is a big one that people don't think about. This provides so much happiness. Don't take everything so goddamn seriously. This can be countered towards a lot of women. This can be countered towards a lot of guys as well. This, it's, it's, it's fucking exhausting. It's exhausting, not just for you, but it's exhausting for the people around you. You know what I mean? And if you care about people at all, you know, you gotta really think about not taking yourself too seriously and realize that you can make fun of yourself or, you know, you're not all that in a bag of potato chips. You don't want to be a snooty little brat, you know? And, and for guys, you don't want to think you're all that and you're big and macho and I can get any girl that I want. Lit, shut the fuck up. Like, no. Like, don't do that. Don't have such a high ego that you are not able to learn. And you are not able to humble yourself down and really take in what you need to take in. So up next, we have look for reasons for things to work out. This is a big one. There's a lot of people out there, including myself, I am guilty just as much as everybody for choosing to think about to think about the negative in, in any situation. And it's hard. It's hard to not think about the negative. And in some way, shape or form, it's actually healthy to think about some negatives sometimes. But to go out of your way to think about negative things, come on, you're better than that. I'm better than that. We're better than that. Come on. Don't go out of your way. Now it's taking your time away from you to think about negative things. Come on. No. Choose. Choose. Make that choice in your head to think think about the good things oh fuck yeah i just got this drawing done hell yeah oh fuck yeah i got the shirts i got the shirts i'm gonna start decorating those very soon fuck yeah like fucking congratulate yourself for doing the little things hell yeah i just brushed my teeth when i said i was gonna brush my teeth fuck yeah you know what i mean it doesn't matter the scale it's just you need to acknowledge your good things you know but without getting a high ego to the point where you can't learn, like I said. Up next, contribute rather than consume. Wow, contribute rather than consume. Everybody is so used to consume, 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 because everybody wants everybody to consume, consume, consume. So that way people can then contribute, 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 and it is a cycle. It is a cycle for those of you who may have not noticed contributing and consuming is the cycle of life it is normal it's okay it doesn't mean don't consume at all that's not what it means it doesn't mean don't contribute it at all like no it doesn't mean that at all it just means have a good balance for yourself and what you are able to accomplish in your point in your situation in this point in time to contribute and also consume Make sure you are consuming what you need to, but also contributing what you can. Up next, don't resent people. Don't resent people for being better than you. Don't be jealous of other people just because they're better than you. There has, there's been a lot of moments where I'm guilty of being jealous of streamers. There, I'm friends with people that are all, in my eyes, doing better than me and maybe i think about it just with the views you know what i mean like they're close to partner or, and, and it's not i'm not talking about just sweaty either i know a lot of people and there's a lot of people that are really fucking close to partner and i and i feel like i should be doing better i feel like i should be doing better or maybe i should be bringing more people in somehow or you know what i mean but in reality well, all i need to do is just focus on what makes me happy why do I do this in the first place? You guys saved my life. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have friends, to be quite honest with you. So I have to remind myself sometimes, like, hey, why do I do this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's way bigger. It's way bigger than 
how many people are in my stream you know what i mean and i'm guilty of that and everybody's guilty of that and it happens for sure up next say hello first talk to people talk to people D don't be a shell don't be a shell of a person if you're going out and you see somebody just chilling say hey how you doing it's simple and then that's all you got to do. If you don't want to say anything else, that's fine. If, if they end up talking a lot, deal, you know, end up dealing with it somehow. But, you know, there's a way to do that for sure. Up next, be reliable. This is another thing that causes such unhappiness, man. If you are not reliable, if nobody can count on you for anything... No one's gonna like you. Nobody likes a person that they can't rely on or somebody that they can't trust. You know what I mean? So being reliable and being there when somebody needs you is such a great source of, you know, being able to find some happiness of your own, being able to underst understand yourself. And if you understand that that's somewhere where you lack, that's okay. You can get better at all of these things. But basically, all of these things that I've just named are what you need to be decently good at before you can really truly find your inner happiness by yourself. Go out, move a lot, spend less than you earn, don't, make your, don't take yourself too seriously, look for reasons for things to work out, contribute rather than consume, don't resent people, say hello first, be reliable be that person people can count on and lastly we are going to talk about the why why is this important jd i get it you talked about the what the who the where the when the what's it the what's it the what's it i get it i get it why is this important why do i need to find my own happiness why do i need to do this in the first place well you must have never been sad if you feel what I just said, you have not been sad enough. You have not been sad enough and you need to go through more experience. There's no shade. There's nothing wrong with that. It just means you need to experience more things because your health our brains are more motivated, engaged, creative, energetic, resilient, and productive. Happier people have better overall health and live longer to experience more happiness before their life goes back into the circle of life. So yeah being engaged creative energetic resilient productive you being the essence of a person that people can count on and, and being able to count on yourself is one of the most beautiful things you can ever experience but that's also why i said you have to do the win the win you have to have experienced enough in life to even understand it. It doesn't have to be in a certain specific order. Everybody's life is different. I completely understand. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, I would get started. I would get started on getting to know yourself on a level that no one has, not even you, you know? And you'll be able to experience the happiness that I have been able to experience as well. And I just want to pass that on. That's really all I want to do. I know there's people out there that don't know what my my intentions are. And it's like, at the end of the day, I just want to help people with my experience. And I hope that I have done that today. So in conclusion, an emotional state characterized by feelings. What are the three main people caused by close relationship, a pastime, a job helping others? Where, where can I even find happiness? Within yourself. Within yourself. When you go out and you move a lot, etc. 
and you become reliable and you become a well-rounded human being, you are fully capable of figuring out your inner happiness and what provides true satisfaction for you. And why is this important? Not only can we live longer with our loved ones, but we can also <sighs> prove to ourselves that we are worth more than what we ever thought we could be. And that's really what this is about. It's about showing you who you really are. And I I'm glad you guys tuned in. I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow.